I knew that I had what it takes, but there's so many dope people all around the world and for them to select me in 29. Hey, what's going on fam? It's Coach Michael and I'm back with another amazing video. I know y'all happy to see me, right? I know y'all are, but it's been a minute and I'm so happy to be back. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Coach Mike and on this channel, I help you live with intention and with purpose. So if you're interested in either one of those things, make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit the bell and select all so you do not miss the next time I go live the next big time I upload an awesome video just like this one. And also, make sure you smash that like button because that helps the video to go further into the algorithm. All right, but I want to talk about something today that I've been wanting to talk about for some time now. I've had plenty of people ask me before, um, about this topic. So I just decided today, hey, why not? I got a little time on my hands before I get to finish doing what I was doing a few minutes ago, all right? But that is how I was selected to go to Maverick City back in 2020. So y'all, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't even know. Well, I'm not gonna say I don't know. I do know. It was really like a God ordained like thing, like, right? I don't know if some of y'all were here when I started my channel. Four years ago, I started my channel. And this channel used to be called Dope Christian TV. <laughs> it was called Dope Christian TV. And on this channel, I basically highlighted worship artists all around the world who just were doing amazing things, you know, singing amazing songs. And a lot of them songs I got like, you know, millions and millions of views on. But this one specific day, I was on Instagram and I came across Maverick City Music when it just had started. And the song Most Beautiful was just about to start to take off. Like Most Beautiful had just been posted, like I think on one day and then the next day I saw it and I was like, wow, I might as well go ahead and just upload this video to my YouTube channel. So I figured out a way to copy the video or whatever and post it to my YouTube channel. Immediately when I posted it to my YouTube channel, the video started to grow really, really fast. I'm like, hey, what's going on? My videos you just take a little while before they start to get some traction. But this video, like within the next day, it had like 300 something views. And I said, I told my wife, I said, babe, this video is about to go viral. Like that, she was like, wow, really? And so like shortly after that, a few days later, Maverick City, they end up reaching out to me and they were like, hey, you need to take this video down, blah, 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 blah. I'm not getting all that was said, but it was nothing, you know, harsh, but you know, they had some legal stuff set up because they're, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're a music entity themselves, right? So I had to make sure I respected protocol and how they did things. So I ended up letting them know that, hey, I didn't mean any harm by it. My channel's called Dope Christian TV. I love just sharing content of worship and stuff like that. And I would love to be a part of what you guys have going on because I see that it is amazing and it's going to be going somewhere. So after that, they were like, hey, well, sure, send us over your EP. And I didn't have an EP at the time. I had recently learned how to play guitar and I had already been playing guitar for like two and a half years. And I had really got good at it at a, in a short amount of time, really, honestly, y'all. And I'm not just gassing myself up, but I really had got good. I, I didn't have an EP at the time, but I just let them know that, hey, I don't have an EP, but I still would like to come to participate. I'll say about almost a year and a half later, I ended up coming across Naomi Rain Solomon, which is one of their main, main lead singers. And I came across her and I felt like I just needed to connect with her because I was a worship leader. I was playing guitar and she plays guitar and she's a worship leader and a songwriter. So I was like, I need to just reach out to her see if she's gonna have some type of mentorship program. And that's before she even got like, you know, big as she is now, it's before she, you know, she even blew up, you know, before she, you know, celebrities and stuff started to share a lot of her stuff. Like she was just like serving the Lord in a real place of, of behind the scenes, right? So ended up reaching out to her. She's like, hey, I don't have a mentorship program yet, but I will eventually end up having one. Come to find out, almost like a couple of weeks later, she was like, you know what? I just started a mentorship program and that's crazy. So she ended up mentoring me and some other individuals that were selected from all around the world. And uh, she mentored us, you know, we had these Zoom calls and stuff like that. And uh, she really helped me get to a place where I understood what my, what my gift was and why I was doing it. Fast forward, mentorship was over. Now Maverick City, they have an invite like some months later for individuals to apply for their camp. I made a video on my YouTube channel so you guys can go back and watch that video. And I just basically stated why I wanted to come to Maverick City Music. And they also wanted me to upload one of my YouTube clips to, you know, to their platform so that way they could be able to select the individuals. So it was like 30 of us from all over the world. I had a couple friends from American Idol, um, a guy by the name of Brian here, he was there. So many other great people, shout out to Brian. Um, a couple other people that were there, you know, Chandler was there, of course, Dante Bo, he was there, of course. Um, who else was there? 
uh, Brandon Lake, he was there. Naomi Rain, my mentor, my first time actually meeting her in person. She was there. Uh, Marion George, uh, Aaron Moses, he was there. Just so many great people. And, and Joel Barnes, he was there as well too, man. Uh, shout out to Joel as well. But it was so many people um, that came from all around the world, man. And we just worshiped in the house. And the camp was three days, y'all. The camp was three days and it was mind blowing. I mean, it was nothing like I had ever experienced before. Being in a house filled with so many worshipers. Then Brianna Babino, she ended up coming. I didn't even know she was there. Like she came, I had an opportunity to meet her. And just like the house was full of worshipers. No ego, no anything. Elevation Worship was there. I had a chance to meet Chris Brown and a couple of other people, you know, that sing with Elevation Worship. So we were all in this house worshiping guys. And I kid you not, after those three days, I did not want to leave. I mean, the experience was just bananas. And so I would really honestly say how I got selected was I just positioned myself as being what I know I am. And what do I mean by that? A lot of times we have gifts, but we don't invest in our gifts. We don't invest in our gifts. We don't invest in who we are as creatives and who we are as in the people that God has created. So we see so many different things, but we have to be true to who we are in our essence. So me, I'm a poet. I'm a singer, I'm a songwriter. So before the opportunity even presented itself, I was in the background preparing myself, right? A lot of times we wait until opportunities come and then we want to prepare ourselves to get ready for that opportunity. But what if I told you that your next opportunity can be waiting on you tomorrow? You know, would you believe that? You have to know that. You have to always keep in your mind that opportunities will present themselves when I am ready because a lot of times we don't even recognize opportunities because we have not cultivated ourselves to be ready for one. So if an opportunity slaps us in the face tomorrow, we'll be like, ah, oh, that's just something else that I've seen, you know? And we cannot live life like that because if we live life like that, not expecting great things to come, then we'll never get anything but the same old ordinary thing every single day if this makes any sense. So for me, I was just practicing on my guitar, playing every single day, uploading clips to YouTube. I didn't care how it sounded. Uh, well, I did care how it sounded. Let me not say that, but I did care how it sounded. But I think for me, the thing that really mattered to me the most was I know that God gave me this gift. And so many people told me, hey man, you you write amazing songs. You sound great on the guitar. You know, I have some spontaneous clips on my channel too if you're also, if you're also interested in that. You know, so many people just told me, man, you just, you really have a gift. But even if they didn't tell me that, I had to know it for myself, right? Sometimes we're overly critical of our own gifts were hard on ourselves. Oh, I'm not good at this, I'm not good at that. But here it is, Maverick City Music selected me and 29 others from all around the world to come sing at this three-day camp. That not only let me know that I was a dope individual, but it also let me know that other people think I'm dope as well. But I knew this before they acknowledged it. And so that's the thing that you have to keep in mind is that you're dope, whether someone acknowledges it or not. There's only one version of you. There is not another you. There won't be another you. So you have to really live in that and own that. Not in an arrogant, you know, big headed way, but in a way where you know you're the only one that has this sound. You're the only one that can write this type of song. You're the only one that has the abilities that you have. We all have a unique fingerprint. Nobody has the exact same fingerprint as you. We all were uniquely design. That's why I have my brand, which is called Credo Board, which stands for Created to Be More, because I understand it. And I hope you understand the exact same thing as well. You know, it was nothing weird and like just supernaturally strange that happened. I just positioned myself and I went with what God placed in my heart. You know, I've always known that I've been different. Even from a child, I knew I was different. Like I was always considered like the person that was weird, that was different. In a way, people call people call people weird, but what weird really is is different. So if somebody's call if somebody calls you weird, it just means that you're different. So never worry about people criticizing your gift, criticizing who you are, trying to make it seem as if they're better than you at something. Because truth be told, if you're around people that are always trying to talk about you rather than building you up, now there's a difference between constructive criticism and just criticism just because, right? Surround yourself with people who want to see you win. And to be honest with you, I'm really, really blessed to have a beautiful wife that I have who's always supported me in everything that I've done. And she's always making sure that she pushes me. So you may not be married. You may not be in a relationship. You may not uh, be in any of that. But you may have people around you 
who are your support system. If they are your support system, they want to see you win, keep those people around. But if, there's, if there are people around you who always have something negative to say without trying to build you up, then make sure you cut those people off. You spend less time with them until it gets to the point where they catch on and they're like, okay, I get it, right? If they don't get it, you just give them the gift of goodbye. You let them know, hey, this is not cool, this is not cool. Either they can fix it or they can move on with their life. But I'm really hoping this video gives somebody some type of insight, some type of encouragement, just to uplift because I'm not gonna lie to you, I knew that I had what it takes, but there's so many dope people all around the world and for them to select me and 29 other people out of hundreds of people, this lets me know that I've been on the right track for this entire time. Don't second guess what you're doing. You may start off doing something and it may seem like it's not going to lead anywhere, but never, ever, ever discredit what you are doing now. Because what you're doing now may really lead to you being super great in the future, or it may lead to an amazing opportunity, even better than mine, even better than other people you know, but just never ever underestimate yourself and the gifts that you possess. I didn't know what I was doing when I was playing guitar. All I knew was I wanted to learn guitar because I wanted to give myself a different way of expressing my gift through music other than just singing. So I did. Your thing may not be guitar, your thing may be piano, your thing may not even be piano, just be, be your voice. Use your voice and use it to the best of your ability because the Lord, he'll see it because what you've been doing behind the scenes has been getting you prepared for what's to come. So keep working behind the scenes, keep working on your gifts, keep spending time doing that thing that you love to do, no matter if it's poetry, writing, art, spend time with it daily. So when the opportunity comes, you won't miss it. So fam, that's all I have for this video. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them in the comments below. If you have any video topics that you would like me to talk about, I would love to talk about them on this channel. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, please connect with me on Instagram. My hyperlink will be in the description below. So all you have to do is click on the hyperlink. It'll take you right to my Instagram page. Give me a follow and let's connect there as well. But this is Coach Michael. I'll see you the next one. And remember, until next time, that you were created to be more than average, but you were created to be dope. See you guys next one. Peace.